Hello, this is Nathan Ryan with Boris Effects and Imagineer Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Dropout Fixer to repair problems with tape-based footage. Dropout Fixer is one of several new image restoration tools found in Boris Continuum Complete 10. Unlike video that's recorded to cards or solid-state drives, tape-based footage, especially from older tapes, is prone to dropout. Dropout often appears as a white streak or a multicolored distortion, and it's caused by particles on the tape heads or other imperfections on the tape. It can be a tricky thing to repair manually in your video editor, but Dropout Fixer is an easy-to-use filter that simplifies the process. It works by using information from the field just before or after the dropout and interpolating the pixels. Now, this first clip has a pretty obvious bit of dropout which I've already marked. So what we'll do is we'll go to our effect palette and go to BCC Image Restoration, Dropout Fixer, and drag and drop that onto the clip. Next, we'll go to our effect editor, and you'll see we have several controls available to us. The most important sliders for this effect are this group right here, between Compare and Fill Color. Compare can be used to show the image before and after the effect is applied. Set Start Frame picks the first frame with the dropout. The Dropout Field menu is used to select which field is to be repaired. We'll start by clicking Set Start Frame, which sets the dropout point. And since it's only one frame long, we'll leave the dropout length at one. If I had a dropout that was longer than one frame, we could adjust this slider accordingly. To see what area of the frame we're affecting, we'll go to the Preview drop-down menu and select Output Field. This will give us a colored area which we'll use to cover the dropout. Now we'll select the area which is to be repaired using these top left and bottom right sliders. In this case, we just need to adjust the Y sliders until we get the area we want. That's because by default, the X sliders don't make a difference since the area covered goes all the way across the frame. But if you need a smaller area repaired, you can click Mask Horizontally like this, and these X sliders will start to affect things. Then, from the Replace With drop-down menu, I'll select Nearest Field Back. Since we know the previous frame looked clean, and we'll be using it as the basis for fixing the dropout. And now you'll see that the frame has been repaired. Now, if we go back to the Compare sliders and turn Compare Mode on, we can see the before and after images. Now, this next clip has multiple dropouts, and there's several ways to approach this problem. One is to stack the effect multiple times on a clip, and this will certainly work, but it can get a little confusing. When possible, I prefer this method. I go through the clip and I mark the frames with dropout using the Add Marker button. And then I'll drop it into my timeline. And now I'll apply Dropout Fixer. Next, I'll add edits around each of these dropouts, and that way we can tackle each of them individually. And using this method, we can quickly fix a longer clip that has multiple dropouts. Well, that just about covers it. I think we did a good job repairing dropouts in our old tape footage. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for using Boris Effects Dropout Fixer. I'm Nathan Ryan, signing off.